Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant, and I'm responding to a question submitted by a student. This one revolves around a pretty simple formula that we, we call PERP. So I'm going to start with the formula so that you have it. And I'm putting it in red, which means that I think you ought to memorize it. Oops, of course. I have to write it correctly. So you can see why we call it PERT. The ending amount, which is A, is equal to the principal or starting amount times E to the RT, where R is the rate, T is time. So for part A, the rate of decay, we'll just put that in first. Let me just change colors. The rate of decay in decimal form. So the rate of decay is going to be e to the negative 0.161. And so you just put that into your calculator. And I get 0 0.851. and calculate the amount remaining, part B. So A is the amount remaining. They started with 220 milligrams. Okay. And uh, they want to know how much is left over after 17 days. So instead of a T there, I'm going to put 17. And that's it. Now it's just a matter of doing this on the calculator. So I'm going to do the E part, negative 0 0.161 times 17, and then times 220. And I'm getting 14.2. Nearest two decimal places, so 2.4, 2 2.5 2 is the answer, rounding it to the second decimal place, and that's it. So it's really just a matter of applying this formula, uh, very straightforward. The uh, I always like to check these to see if I have an answer that's, you know, reasonable. Um, it's going down roughly 15% a day. And uh, you can see that from this answer here, 0.851 is roughly, if, you know, 0.85, which would be a decay of 15% every day for 17 days. So it's going to be a pretty small amount after 17 days because it's going down by 15% a day every day compounded. So that seems reasonable to me. Okay, well, that's it for this one. Very straightforward. Uh, just try to remember PERT, which is, I think, pretty easy to remember. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.